everybody, it's Jenny and it is Triple Play Day. I'm here with Natalie and Misty and we have an awesome week for you today. So when I was very first learning how to quilt, I was quilting with my sister-in-law and she taught me this block right here. And we're calling it the spinning star and we are doing three variations on the spinning star. And Natalie, I think you're up first. All right. All right, so my quilt is this one here behind me. I'm calling it Spin Sisters because I did the spinning star block in two different variations. So they're sisters, not twins. I love that. It's so cute. And it ended up 74 by 74. I did um, star spangle for the uh, machine quilting pattern. I love that pattern. And the backing is this beautiful red. It's a great, a great line for um, anything. Any kind of Patriotic. Yeah, any kind of patriotic quilt. Which, by the way, look at us. Yes, yes. we're we're just so patriotic just today. <laughs> just right. We never know what we're going to wear. We always dress appropriately. <laughs> we we <try>. do. <laughs> All right. So to make my quilt, you're going to need one package of 10-inch squares, and I've used Tonga Batik's Valor by Timeless Treasures. Um, you're going to need some accent fabric, and that is because I tried to use the entire um, layer cake, and when I got nearer the end I ran out of blue okay so you're gonna need um, a yard and a quarter of the navy and then your sashing and inner border is this this cream and I just wanted it to be another batik it's beautiful I actually really love that they finally started coming out with batik lights you know it, yeah. I feel like for a long time Did we didn't have, have we didn't have a lot of low lights no well it's it's great it's perfect so you'll need a yard and a half for your sashing and inner border and then your outer border is a yard and a quarter and I've done five inch borders. So if you want your borders bigger, get more yarded. There you go, <laughs> there you go. Um, the backing, you'll need four and three quarter yards, mm -hmm. or if you're using a, a 108, two and a quarter yards. Sure. And then the other thing that's super helpful is this trimmer tool, um, because you're gonna wanna square your blocks up. And this works great when you have that center seam and we're doing quarter square triangles. That's right, quarter square triangles. Yeah. And it's good to line it up, have something to line it up on. Yeah, so those are the supplies you'll need. So let's go ahead and get started. From your navy yardage, you're going to want to cut some five inch squares and some four inch squares. And the block we're going for oh, is this one. And then there's one more and we're going to make that, that one okay. also. Okay. So this so it's this, the same this same block right here. These blocks all finish at or these units are all, all four inches. Okay. And so this center is the four inch square, and then the five inch is for um, this color here. Oh, okay. Perfect. Right. So we're gonna go through it step by step. So don't let me. Confuse I'm gonna get you. ready to sew over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull a light and a red, a cream and a red. All of the blues, all the red and and red and white or red and cream, whatever, they get made into half square triangles. And then all of your blue squares get cut into five inch squares. Misty, you probably want to iron these. Sure. Yeah, it's so easier. So can I say, I just, ironed. I, I kind of do love how this is packaged though. It's yeah. kind of fun because you can see everything and they're folded up. Yeah. Usually we see a flat, big flat layer cake. Yeah. You right. Know? This is kind of fun. Yeah, and there are, so there's 15 of your blue squares. Mm -hmm. If your pre-cut has a different amount, you may need different amounts of yardages. Sure. This is pretty specific to this line. All right, so we're going to do a make eight triangle, half square triangle. We're gonna put these two together and draw a line on both sides, or going both directions diagonally. I don't think I need that anymore. I do need a little pencil right here. This will work, oops. It's, a, <laughs> it's evading you. It's no, tied it's up with oh. a string. <laughs> when you have thread and pencils in the same jar. You know, jar. I think all sewists, all of us quilters, have the same we can drawer relate. full of stuff. We do. And the thread gets wrapped around things. All right. So if you will sew on either side or both, both sides. sides of both lines, that would be great. All right. There we go. All right, excellent. So um, we're gonna cut these vertically and horizontally and diagonally. And we always start with our cuts vertical and horizontal because there are no lines and this is the easiest time to get that lined up just right. And then if your stuff you know, gets messed up, you have those lines to go back to for the diagonals, diagonal cuts. 
four nice cuts. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to press these open. Okay. Mm, it looks like my tension is a little wrong down here. I'm going to check that while she's ironing. Sounds good. Just Sometimes. a tiny bit loose, I think. Sometimes you just got to right. check that tension. So we're going to draw a line on the back of these because it's easier to see it on the cream and you can at least get halfway through. If you have a white pencil, that might be, you could do it on your, um, do the, draw the lines or press the lines. Um, on your navy fabric, but I just went with the went with the back of the cream. That makes sense because it it worked for me. You can see it on the red as well. So the cool thing about this is because you get um, so many half square triangles, and we're putting the blue on it, you're going to get a set. For one block and a set for another block. You're going to have oh, to okay. make two blocks out of two layer cake squares. That's perfect. Do you want me to start sewing these? Yeah. While so you're we've drying? got, um, so what happens is these are a little bit smaller. So you're going to want to center that up pretty much. It doesn't have to be centered. That's just how I did it. You okay. could put it up into one corner if you wanted to. But it didn't make sense for me to cut them any other size. Right. Because I cut the down, same thing happened. I on cut mine. down from layer mm -hmm. cake squares, and it just it doesn't make sense to cut them smaller. It's right. so minor. I didn't want to do any extra cutting. That makes sense. And make sure you don't bother squaring your half square triangles at this point because mm -hmm. that again we'll is square just, them all at once. Yep, just extra cuts at that point. And we're sewing on both sides of this line as yes. well. Yes, okay. sewing on both sides of the line. This is going to give you some really beautiful half square triangles. That's a little better. All right, let me do we don't have again. to do all of these because I've got some already made. All right. I'm just going to do one more. Okay, you do one more. That'll be perfect. Got my stitch perfect. That's what I was checking awesome. for. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So we're going to cut these in half. And then we're going to take our clearly perfect and we're going to square them to four inches. And this is, comes in so handy because it has the two it really seam does. lines. It keeps everything lined up nice and straight and makes these really beautiful square, uh, quarter square triangles. And you can use the notches to cut off the little corners so they're not in your way. Well, Will you press that flat, open? Of course. Okay. All right. So you're going to want to make sure that you've got your seam line on the, the um, dashed line of the trimmer and that your straight line lines up with the seam that goes straight up and down into that corner. And we're going for four inches. And that will give you that perfect square. Trim off those corners and then trim your little, your little triangles off. And there are two trimmers that come with this set. One is for the whole numbers and one is for the half numbers. And this is the trimmer. That's true. This is trimmer, trimmer B. B. And so it's all, you know, trimmer one, B two, three, four, full, five, six. Full inch sizes. Mm -hmm. And then if you have squares that are actually larger than this, they have one that goes all the way up to 12, I think. Yeah. And so these are smaller ones. And these are the ones we find we use the most. I do. I was using a larger trimmer when I did my when I made my quilt, and I noticed that at the very top where the smaller sizes are, they don't have these little dashes. They, yeah, they don't have the little notches. So I always forget to which use I think them. Which is not it's not a big deal. No. No, people always say, "What are those little slits for?" And I'm like, "Oh, I just forget to use them." Yeah. <laughs> they are helpful to get rid of the bulk, though. They, they are. are. Okay, so you'll notice that. For each um, each of these chap square triangles that we did, we got two separate blocks. See how they're see how they're Opposites. different? They're opposite. 
So I kept mine in, in little piles. I just put the, the ones together. And um, because we've done this one, and I have to look because I get so easily I confused the by same. these. I'm the same. Um, these ones line up like that. We're gonna go ahead and make this block. We're gonna put it together. So all, all of these blocks are set exactly the same way. And, and that is, um, that's the toughest part of the block. Sure. So now we're just gonna, yep, now we're just gonna lay it out. All right, so I'll start with the one in the middle. And then what I did is I put my, my blue to my blue, my little mantra. And these go all the way around, just like that. Does this go this way or does it turn this way? Um, it goes this way. Okay. And this goes that way. See how it makes like a little friendship star? Oh, okay, yeah. And then these ones, um, they line up at the top with the blue and the whites touching. You do need a mantra for this. Yep, so this one is turned. These two are the same and this one turns. So your blue and your white is always gonna be the parts that are touching, but I, I made one, wait a second. Oh no, That's this is right, right. Yeah. okay. I just saw that the red was there and I was like, oh, I'm doing this wrong, but no, I'm doing the opposite. All right, so then you'll notice if you're, if you're looking at it, you, have, you always have your blue friendship star in the middle and then you, the one set is gonna have the red background, kind of like a little mm -hmm. cross looking thing and the other set will have a white background. Okay. Does that make sense? Shall yeah. we sew it together? So let's sew this together and then you can see the, the difference. You can show where the blocks go in the quilt. Yeah. And I will say that I, what I did with these is I laid them out like this and I stacked the entire set mm -hmm. in one tall stack so that I didn't have to lay it out over and over and over. That makes sense. That's a good hack. So. All right, so we've got this guy. Yep. That guy goes to the blue. Mm -hmm. Blue to the blue. Yeah, they do tend to, to have similar, like, down, down, and then this side is the same. Down, 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 down. down. Go. Spin all the way it does have a spin that like it mm -hmm. kind of will help you keep it. Hence the spin sisters. Yes. That's right. Sisters, not twins. <laughs> I I did do a sash. And some it looked really busy when they were all put together right next to each other. Well, and I love that it by doing that, it, you can really see the two different blocks. Mm -hmm. It makes them stand out. One more little bit, girls. <laughs> all right. All right. Give it press a press. It, and then we're ready to show the two blocks. There we go. So you can see them side by side. Oops. Kind of. Want to hold one? <laughs> sure. Yeah. And then here on the on the quilt, I just did every other one. So we have a red and a white, there and a red go. and a white and a red. There are 25 blocks, so it's five by five. Um, and I just did a little sashing strip. These are two and a half inches by the size of the block, which I believe is 11. Yep, it's 11 inches square, unfinished. So cut yourself some 11 inch strips and then two and, two and a half inch squares out of the border fabric. Yeah, I was gonna say that's out of the border fabric. That makes it yeah. really fun. Yeah, and this, this is all in, you know, included in your fabric amounts. Yeah, How that's fun. perfect. So, I think it went together really easily, and I think it looks really fun. I think it'd be great for any kind of oh gosh, any patriotic fabric. quilt, but it would also be really cute in other fabrics. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So All yeah, right. I hope you like it. So I'm thinking you're up next. I'm up next. So this is my quilt, and I called it Spin Off. This is the block I'm talking about right here. 
Pretty. So and great. Uh, yeah, and so I had a few other little challenges. I think it looks really cool. I love how it all came together. But finding those right measurements, you know, that's that's not my forte. So we worked a little hard on that. So to make my quilt, you're going to need one um, roll of two and a half inch strips, and I used Artisan Batik's Liberty by Studio RK for Robert Kaufman. You're going to need some. Um, Accent fabric, that's our navy right here, and you'll need a yard of that. Our background, I use the Missouri Star tone on tone. Of course I did. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Anyway, you'll need two and a quarter yards of that, and that includes your inner sashing and your middle borders and all the, all the stuff. That's all yep. you'll need for that. Our outer border is this one right here is the little... Um, like uh, fireworks. Fireworks, yeah. I'm like, the, you know those things. The, the fireworks, the and I have a six-inch border out here. And um, you'll need a yard and a quarter for that. Our backing is oh, pretty. so pretty. Isn't that fun? I love it has kind, a little variety bit of, a, of colors. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a tie-dye look to it. It's yeah. really pretty. And uh, the quilt came out 71 by 71. I think it's uh, I think it's a great size. Yep. And you know, I had a jelly roll to work with, so it's a little bit different. So I don't know if I mentioned backing four and a half yards. Let's make sure we get that in there. Um, my quilting pattern is also star spangled. You know, it's we had these one. stars really to is. work with, and I love it. It's just the, you know, the stars aren't too big, and then it has these swirly lines in between yeah. it. Gives it some movement. Yeah, I think it looks really great. I think so. Too. So let me show you how to make this. So to make my quilt, I had jelly roll strips to work with, so I had to create my own fabric, which means I had to sew strips together. So I sewed three together right here, and when you sew three strips together, they come out. So my rule is, however tall they are, that's how wide you cut them. Right. Okay. So this one it should come out just about six and a half. I think I'm your gonna, strips look great. I'm going to straighten beautiful. up this edge right here. Oops. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to measure it, and it says six and a half. So I'm going to come over six and a half. So my ruler is five, one more inch is six and a half, and I'm going to make sure this is on the line. And I'm just going to cut my whole strip set into six and a half inch strips. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to make these outer blocks right here. And so what I did for that was I took my two layer cakes, I cut my 10 inch squares, my, my accent fabric, into 10 inch squares, sewed all the way around it, you know, added my Missouri Star White to the other side, sewed mm -hmm. all the way around it, cut it diagonally both directions. What that gives me is four of these, and you can see how this will happen right here. Oh, so yeah. we just cut it both ways, and you get four of these. And this actually works out to be about six and a quarter. We don't want to trim either one of these. We don't want to do any squaring yet. Right. Save the cuts. <laughs> right, but what we're going to do is we're going to um, draw the line on this, and and this is the same as with Natalie's quilt. We're making these quarter square triangles, and so I'm going to center this on here, and it doesn't matter which way my squares went, my strips mm -hmm. went. So this square is going to be a little bit, little bit bigger. But what we're going to do is we're going to square them up. So if you'll sew both sides on that, that sure. would be awesome. And we'll get making on that star. You guys know I love blocks that look there like you, you worked really hard, but they're pretty easy. So we're going to cut this in half on the line right here. That's the fun of quilting, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to square this on this side to six inches. So I'm at the very bottom of my ruler, lining it up on the sew line, lining this line up on my um, quarter square line, cutting around both sides. And I get to very easily do these little things because it's at the very bottom of the ruler. <laughs> I don't even nice. have to go in the slot. And so we're going to do the same thing over here line up my sew line with their sew line and um, and of course you can do this with a regular square ruler as well this just makes it easy because it's got the two lines to measure with and so we'll trim those off and when you do this um, you're going to get four 
four of these from each 10 inch square, which means you're going to get eight blocks from each one. So if you'll press those yep. flat. And so you're going to get four going one direction and four going the other direction. And I actually did not worry about, um, you know, I have both on my quilt as well, yeah. but you can't really tell that one's going this way and one's going that way. Yeah. And so here's our pieces and, you know, you just want to make sure that you're you're putting them in the right pile. See, this one is the opposite. So I have an opposite pile down here. Let me see, just like Natalie did. So the other thing is, because all of our little blocks are squared to six, our middle block, you know, our strip block is six and a half, but it needs to be cut down to six. And so um, I've already done that on this one, but it's basically, I just trimmed like a quarter inch off of this side and a quarter inch off of this side mm. to make it six inches because that has to be the same as the block. Now we're going to set these aside for a minute because I'm going to show you these blocks out here, which I think add a great deal to the quilt. And it's just a fun corner block. You know, the one yeah. I showed you to begin with was there was nothing in the corners. And so I think we've all taken advantage of those fun corners mm -hmm. and done that. So what I did was I made a four patch and um, I sewed my two, my accent fabric and my Missouri star fabric together. Cut them at two and a half inches and I always cut mine before I iron them, just like this. And then you're gonna put them together just like a four patch like this. And I have one here ready for you to put together, Nat. Okay. And so it will go just like this. And so we'll put those together. And if you press to the dark side, then these little seams right here will just nest up so tight and uh, there'll be nothing, no fabric in between them. And you'll have a really nice point in the center there. All right, Misty, if you'll press that. Of course. And so on this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a two and a half inch strip of our white background. I'm gonna cut off my selvage and my fold. I've kept it folded all the way in. And then you're gonna cut these little pieces at four and a half. And both of them are cut at four and a half like this. And so just go up your whole strip and do that. And then we need to cut some two and a half inch squares off of our um, blue. And so I'm just gonna cut one because that's all I need for this block right here. So we're gonna sew, and this is just a little hack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So this is how, you know, when you do something over and over again, it, you find out the easy ways. Right. And so what I did was I took this one and I sewed it to the blue right here first. Mm -hmm. And then I sewed this one to the side of this. Okay. So then when they're together, you just open them up and they, they go right together. Hack. It's a chain, chain piece hack. So I you're going to sew it. the two and a half inch blue square to the four and a half inch white. And then you're going to feed this one in right behind it. Okay. Oh, there it goes. And you're going to need four of these for your corners. Whoops. There we go. That seam tried to turn on me. So now let me show you how this works. So then when you open these up, they're ready to go in their, in their right place. And so awesome. you can just put that on there and... I love those little hacks. I know. Well, you know, it it's funny because we, we cut all the pieces and we do all the things and we're sewing and all of a sudden we're like, wait a minute, if I sew this, then <laughs> this will make it easier. So you are, you know, perfectly welcome to just take half of those and sew down the sides of your blocks and, you know, and the other half, sew the little strips too and put them together. Um, this just worked for, as I got going, this worked for me really yeah. well. I think it's great. All right, so then we're going to iron this. Press it really nice and flat. All right, now since my blocks rarely come out perfect, rarely, and this needs to be trimmed down to six, I feel like it's like a little gift for me. Yeah. And so we're always gonna trim this side that we added on, always. Never trim mm -hmm. your four patch, always trim this side. And so if this side over here is perfect, line it up 
with your line on your mat and then cut this off at six inches because we need it to match the size of our other blocks. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to turn it and this, this one is a little tiny bit wonky over here so I'm just going to clean that up. Just barely clean it up and then I'm going to set this straight and put this one on this line and this line and then I'm going to come over and cut this one at six too. I mean at six also. <laughs> and what that does is, one of the things I love about this is that when we set this into the quilt, it actually looks like you did some really fun small piecing. Yeah. You know, so always keep your large four patch to the center. So let me show you how we lay out this block so I can show you how we did this. So this is our center. And then these right here, my mantra was that my white is always on the outside. So that way it didn't matter where, you know, once mm -hmm. I stacked up my squares with their matching partners, the white always went to the outside. And then it came, it made the um, friendship star because I was, I kept messing up the friendship star and I'm like, there's gotta be a mantra. So we're gonna do this. And then with our, these four patch units that we made, the largest four patch, the, you know, the four patch part goes into the center like this. So fun. It's and really pretty. I love how that beautiful. chains in the background. I love it too. And so let's go ahead and sew this together. So okay. we'll, we'll lay these on here. But anyway, let, I mean, let's take a look at it first, actually. So let's just glory in this moment. It's beautiful. Oh. Our block is together. <laughs> yeah. um, and I did and keep my same strip set together. Of that one. Well, it sure is, but I didn't even <laughs> notice that because <laughs> I'm just all about the, you know, Magic. making the block. Yep. All right, so do that one. I'll try to line these up for you. All righty. So you can just go from one to one to one. Well, and you get a nice big block with this too, which is you always do. great. Yeah. Makes a big quilt quick. Yep. Well, and that's actually, you know, I was looking at all this out and all the sashing and all the stuff, and I was like, nine blocks is good. It looks great. But then I had some leftover strips. So that's where this part came in. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Here's this one. I think that's just right. And then if you want to pull that down and we'll add this guy onto the neck first, first okay. row. All right, like that. Large four patch in. Okay. There was a couple, the reason I say this large four patch in is Generally, actually, the reason we bring anything up when we're teaching you is because we've made we the mistake. The hard way. We've made yes. the mistake, yeah. And so, uh, so I always I get this mantra: large four patch to the center, large largest block. Mm -hmm. And that one, print to print. Mm -hmm. Yep. And my mantra was the, the white, white to the outside. White to the outside. It's interesting, you know. We all have different brains, and it just. It's just all, you know, how it works for you mm -hmm. is the best. And that's one of my favorite things about triple play is that, you know, we all teach a thing a little bit differently and it works. For instance, look at my table. I'm a mess. <laughs> this is actually how I create. <laughs> it works great. We're it works for me, for sure. Yeah. Some point I'm pretty sure process. I'm not the only one with a messy sewing Absolutely room. Absolutely <laughs> not. Or sewing table, at least. I don't think so. Now on this, when you put these together, messy. even though they're strips, you really only have to match these two seams. Uh -huh. And um, even those are not really going to show up too much. And so you're going to, I think you're going to lose your thread. It? Yeah. Hang on. Whoop. No, you did. Oh, bummer. That's all right. I got gotcha. you. Oh, mamas can help. <laughs> there we go. Yay. This is not the sewing machine Natalie regularly sews on, and so she doesn't know the thread trick, and so I'm always I'm working on it. I Every really, time I'm here, I try to figure, <laughs> try to learn. I work it. on this machine all the time, and so I'm very, very good at the thread. And that is a cool thing to know. Whatever you know, whatever you want to get better at, you just practice more. Mm -hmm. That's true. I like lining up those seams. like my machine though. <laughs> we all really get used to our own machines yeah. for sure. 
Somebody asked me one time, what kind of machine do I need to make what you're making? And I'm like, one that runs. Yep. Yeah. It just needs to run. <laughs> A good straight stitch. Yep. All right. I'm just going to line those up, match those two middle seams. I'm working on it. And our block will be finished. Misty will get to iron it. <laughs> Am I making you feel rushed, Natalie? Just a tiny, just a <laughs> tiny bit. It's okay. All right, I'll stop. I'll I'm stop. I'm getting there. You're good. Just matching seams, trying to make it look good. I do love when I get a different cut because, you know, as a jelly roll, you really are creating your own fabric yeah. pieces. And you could do that with any number of Strips Absolutely. or pieces or whatever. There you go. All right. Okay. If you want to press that. Of course. And hopefully I matched them all up well. They look great. Oh, it looks beautiful. That is one of the blessings of using a, a jelly roll is that they're, everything is like, whew, you know, mm -hmm. it, there's, it doesn't, your eye doesn't land any one spot particularly. Not so much pressure on the. So here's our block. And uh, then what we did was, let me clip this thread right here. Let's take it back to the quilt here. I have nine of these. They go here. And I put this little inch and a half sashing and a little inch and a half square. And I did that to kind of make the, you yeah, know, draw it yeah, in, make really it go cool. in it's smaller. Like a small, and so I literally large. sewed my sashing on like this. So that's just how I did the sashing parts on this. And if your, if your sashing strip is an inch and a half, then your little square needs to be an inch and a half as well. And then I had a bunch of strips still left over, so I went ahead and you get, a, you get a piece about this big left on the end of your strip from cutting your blocks anyway. Mm -hmm. So I just kept those piled up and I just sewed them together and added a border in here on the side. And you can see I still actually have some pieces left and I didn't worry if I had a partial block or anything like that. I just went ahead and sewed them on. I figured- So is that like four inches or three This is actually, let me measure, I think it's three. Three, three and a, and a, wait for it. <laughs> I'm going to measure this end. This end looks, they're three. Three inches? Yeah, three okay. inches. Okay. And so this is a little three inch border. And then I added another uh, inch and a half and then finished it off with the nice big six inch border it's just out beautiful, here. That's Jen. great. I love it. I think, I this think is, it came out this really fun. This is such fun. a lovely, like picnic size. Yep. It's awesome. It's great. And of course, you know, if I you want. I think it would make a great uh, table topper too. Just mm -hmm. one square in the middle oh of a table. Gosh, Wouldn't yeah. that be pretty? That's Gorgeous. absolutely true. Or b three or three or four of these big ones for a, a runner or even a bed runner. When you oh, know, when absolutely. you have a, yes. when you have a nice big size. block, it would make a great bed runner. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'll, that'll dress it up for the holiday. Right. Yeah. Right. Like All right. Well, Misty, I think you're up. All right. All right. So this is my project. I just did a little table runner this time. We host the 4th of July at our house and I am always needing small things to kind of dress up the house. And so this seemed like the perfect time to make another little it's perfect. runner. I love it. Thanks. And so to make this, you will need one package of 10 inch squares. And I use Sabrina by Whistler Studios. I really only use like 10 squares. So you so could actually make four. Like four tables. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then great. you'll also need um, a half yard of background. I use this beautiful red. And then for your outer border, you'll need a half yard and a yard and a half for your backing fabric. So let me show you how to make this. Okay, so this is my block that I made and I have a little courthouse step in the center, which um, I had a couple of things I wanted to do. I really wanted that courthouse step in the center and I wanted to figure out how to make all of my stars spin the same. Oh, so okay. if you notice, I don't have any opposites in mine. That's I interesting. I probably made myself work a little harder to get <laughs> this, but it was a fun challenge. Yeah. Sometimes you just need well, challenge. and I love that you focused on the center instead of these outside corners. Yeah. So that's fun too. Exactly. So to begin with, I just picked um, a light and a dark of my uh, 10 inch squares. Since I went with that red background, I stuck with the white and the blue mm -hmm. mostly. And then we are going to cut this in half, both directions. I'm going to stack them up nice and straight because we're going to cut them both exactly the same. 
So I will just lay my ruler along here. And I'll make a cut this way. This ruler is so great for working with pre-cuts oh, because best. it's five inches and most of the pre-cuts are 10. And so it just, well, all the exactly. layer cakes are 10 for sure. <laughs> all right, now that we have all of our five inch squares cut, I'm going to cut one of these corner to corner once and one of these corner to corner twice. Just like this. Just a little safety. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> and then one of these I can set aside. And then this sure, other okay. one, yes, thank you. I'm gonna cut down into one inch strips. Tiny, tiny. Tiny little strips, but so fun. Just like so. The whole thing? The whole thing, all, all right. the way across. Just like that. And the reason I did this is because I figured out that I could get the angles that I wanted. And so that I'm also going to do the same thing and cut one five inch square of my background both directions. So I have my little triangles. I'm going to get ready to sew because yep, I think some sewing's coming. It is. <laughs> some tiny sewing. Some little sewing, but you can do it. I know you can. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> That's right. the thing about small things. You know, while it's not my go-to, it, it's just, it's not harder. It's, it's just not. smaller. Absolutely. Yeah, so don't get afraid of it. So then we are going to pair these up and you just kind of have to lay it out to start. So let me, let me do that to begin with. So we're gonna put one of these here, and then with that, we put our little light and this. And so we're gonna sew these now, together. Now, are all your blocks exactly the same? They're not. So oh, you okay. have two like this and two that are the opposite. And oh, so okay. this one is exactly the same. You'll make two like this. And I would probably just little. stack them. Absolutely. And that's what I did. I just started making my little piles and then you'll start by sewing your red on top of your white, okay. and then your blue to that. Let me start that one. Okay. And then on your other, we're gonna have our large white pieces, and then our background comes in like this. And these are exactly the same too. So you'll see, you can turn them. I hope I put these on here right. You're just going to check before you wait. wait. Oh, you got to sew them so they're laying the same I do same have to sew way. them so they're laying the same. Yep. Good. Let's see. We got this one and we got, wait for it, this way. All right. All right. Make sure those are the Press same. Press them open. Yep. Before I, before I make start. Make sure we got it right. This is, you guys, you just, these little quarter squares, you yep. got to pay attention. You All right, so it, then, though. so then I'm going to put them on here. Yep, exactly. All right. And the red at the top, right? Yep. And are these going to, these aren't going to line up exactly, They're not right? exact, because it's the same kind of thing. We're going to square them once at the end. So right. we're just not going to worry one. about it till we get there. Okay. Are we pressing them? Uh, um, you don't need to press open it open yet, because we're going to, uh, I'm going to use the Clearly Perfect. Okay. It is interesting to me because you girls, that's not your go-to brain no, ruler, it's not. but it's so no, perfect but with for the these. Square, and it's so then along magic. this side this and this side, okay. and we'll do the same so, thing. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. So then, just like um, we have seen in the past, we are going to square these to four. So I'm looking at my seam line across here and my seam line going up and down, and then I will just trim these, just like so. And then now you can press that open. Awesome. It will make it a lot easier for you guys if you have your own Misty handing you the fabric. Absolutely. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> and your own Natalie Team who irons sewing. it. sewing. <laughs> Nothing better. There we go. Here. Just 
just one more to square. And then we'll move on to our little centers. Get that to lay Tiny down. Tiny so little I can baby. See it. Just like so. Squaring has really become one of my favorite things. I didn't do it for it's so, so long. It's so satisfying to but me. But then you have this perfect block when, you know, your block starts off looking kind of a mess. Yeah, everything goes together <laughs> so and it nicely, just works out. too. Yep. All right, so then now we have our little background one inch square. And I started with my blues, and we are just going to sew on either side. So okay. I can cut it at one. Yeah, go ahead. You want me to? Okay. Just for that middle part. Yep, that might make it easier. So we'll, there's one. <laughs> one inch square. I know, so little. They're so little. Ah! But that's, you know, you're only making five just to make your little runner. So it's a fun, fun challenge. And just so you know that you can eyeball that straight line because it's, you know, it's very it's really it's short. Tiny. Very small. But this is one, because they're so little, I pressed a bunch in between and I starched my fabric so that I, you know, had a better time working with it. And so uh -huh. if you want to set up your iron right next to you so you just have your little nest ready to go, it makes it go pretty quick. Great. You did it. <laughs> All, right. All right. We'll press that. Press this tiny thing. Yep. And then we'll add... Our white, this should measure right at two inches, and it does. And so I just sewed this on either side. Okay, let's do it. Or you can just cut it in half, honestly, and then you'll have a little extra. And you'll square it up. Yep. All right, so we'll just we'll just start here. Now, courthouse steps is a variation of the log cabin block. Yep. But it is all done um, same colors opposite. opposite so sides. your lights and mm -hmm. your darks are going to go this way. So it's, it's a fun little block. I feel like we've done a tutorial on the courthouse steps. I, I'm sure we have. Probably a long a time long ago. A long time ago, yeah. Maybe that would be a fun it triple be. play. That would be. You want to press that and then I'll square it up? Yes, I do. All right. It's so little, I'm not sure if I've got it just right. It looks good. Okay. Alrighty. Best wishes. Thank you. <laughs> Best wishes. Good luck. <laughs> Hope it works out the way you wanted it to. <laughs> and she's squaring it, so it's going to work out great. Yep. Should be just about two inches again, and then we'll come back and we can add our blues okay. to the other sides. This I can probably use. Yeah, you one. can for one half, and then yep. add that to the other. Perfect. It's getting so big. It is. It's growing. Yeah. See, it's just those first little rounds that are a struggle. <laughs> it's so funny when you start off that tidy that this much feels yeah. good to you all of a sudden. Oh, I love one. tiny, though. I just, I don't know. It, it forces me to slow down, yeah. I think, and just enjoy the process. That's true. You so. do have to. Yeah. Do you, you do have to take your time. Pay a little bit more Pay attention. a little more attention and just enjoy it. And when you're sewing tiny, it's always a good idea to shorten up your stitch si stitch yeah, length a little bit. You don't want that to pop out on you. So no. there should be two inches. And then now we're going to add more of our white. This is going to be longer than a half now. So you'll need two. Wow. One for each side. It's going to be know. so big. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting there. It is. It's growing. And so just out of your little charm pack cut, mm -hmm. um, do you, does it, do you get all the pieces you need for the whole center just out of your little one-inch strips? Out of your one-inch you strips, yep. Very cool. It's all in there. That's great. Now, did you cut any of these like before you ironed? Because I would cut before I ironed. The little pieces? Yeah. I didn't. No, just okay. because I wanted to be able to see from the top and make sure that it was staying 
close to square. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. when I you like cut. to use my seam lines yeah. to kind of square it as, as I'm, you go as I'm going. Yeah, yeah. so you can you can Keep line just that a up a little bit more accurate. And then I actually think this one that you cut off will fit. Perfect. All right, right then. Yep. This is so cute, Miss. Thank you. I, I mean, it. it is. It's a little time consuming, but. Uh -huh. I enjoyed making it. It's really fun. Well, and the flip side of that is that um, this fabric is so darling. Yeah. And if you decide you didn't want to do this, it's a four-inch square. Exactly. Just cut a four-inch so, square. That's true. Put that little guy in the middle and you're Absolutely. good to go. Absolutely. And then we have one more round after this, our last round of white, and then that will finish up our little block in the middle. I'll be interested to see if it like stays at four inches. <laughs> I had to square mine up a few times. Yeah. Which is fine. You know? Sure. It just, it can get a little wonky, but that's where the starch helps too mm -hmm. when you're, when you're working with these tiny pieces. And then when I give this back to you and you get it cut up, we, I want you to show them how the courthouse steps works. Of course with the same colors on the same sides because it's a fun block. It is. I really like it. Really old block, but a lot so of fun. Did you always start with your dark? I think so. <laughs> yes. I, I did. All right. Yeah. I'm just curious because, you yeah. know, you could, you could technically go you could either totally way. I just up. didn't know. I just made them all the same. I method. wanted my, my blocks to be exactly the same. Right. So. Well. They're really cute. Thank you. So let's and trim that turned this out up. beautifully. Yeah, it looks great. There we go. Turn this little guy. It's so cute. So I'm sitting here going, I sewed that. Yeah. <laughs> that tiny little thing. Yes. And there we go. Did. This looks really close. Sometimes you'll need to square it up again to make sure it's exactly four inches because mm -hmm. that's what it should finish up. But you can see here's our little center and the navy builds out this direction and the white builds out that way, which is the uh, traditional I love courthouse, it. Step. courthouse step. Yep. And so then now to set our block together, we are just going to put our navy towards our navy, mm -hmm. just like this to make our little friendship star and our white towards our white. And it Aww. spins around and then you'll put your background four inch squares in those corners and then you go just sew it together sew it like together. a nine patch and That's so here awesome. is our finished block just That's like that. awesome and Very you just cool. set them right together I just set them right together five across and i used a little uh, three inch border i think it's a three, three inch all right, let's talk about this thread though. Yeah, so we have variegated thread now as an option here in our quilting department at Missouri Star, and I thought, why not use that red, I white, and blue? I love it. I love it too. It Thank adds you. so much color and interest. Yeah, it was just a fun fun time to use it, I think. And the yeah. back on this is the that big beautiful floral. floral. Yep. Oh, that's so and you pretty. can see the, the variegated, the variegated really well. on that. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So it's super fun, and it finishes up at, I think, 15 by 57, so a great little pattern. Perfect, and this is one of those where if you have a long table like you I just do, make more. just make more blocks. If you have mm -hmm. a shorter table, just make a few less. Exactly. Yeah. Very cute, I love it. All righty. I hope you enjoyed that. They were all three different and beautiful mm -hmm. and a lot of fun. And you learned some cool corner techniques and a really great center technique on that. And we hope you enjoyed our take on the spinning star from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.